Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So today is actually Tuesday, August the 24th And um, yeah, I'm just, I just have a few little items that I wanted to show you guys um, That I went to today little small grocery haul and then some candles and uh, a little bit of makeup and some things from five below so if you want to know what i have then keep on watching so the first thing we're going to do is Publix. i went to Publix. i wanted to try these because i have a taste for some salad today i'm going to cook um some pork chop in my big mama my ninja uh air fryer so I wanted a salad to go with it, and then I'll probably also pair it with a sweet potato. And for my family, I will probably uh, fix some jasmine rice and maybe, I don't know, some cream on the corn, cream on the corn, some, <laughs> some cream style corn or either, um, I don't know, some sweet peas or something like that. But anyway, I saw this. This is the apple cheese and walnut salad kit. I got two of these, it was on sale two for $6, and it comes with everything in it, that's why it's called a kit. I'm not sure what type of, um, what type of salad dressing is in here. Um, however, I bought two of these because it was two for six, and then I just have a cucumber and a tomato. So that would be my salad. Probably gonna use ranch dressing on there for the salad and then next i just have um some coffee this is the type of coffee that i drink maxwell house uh i think it's 100 percent colombian the medium and then y'all this is my favorite cleaner I wanted to go to Dollar Tree to get the syrup because uh, Dollar Tree does have the sugar-free syrup, but I ran out of time because my son was coming from school. So, um, but anyways, this is my favorite creamer here by uh, Cold, Cold Stone Sweet Cream. Y'all, this is the best. Um, it only has, it only has five grams of sugar, which includes five grams of added sugars. So 10%, which isn't bad. And with those sugar-free creamers, I mean, not sugar-free creamers, but with the sugar-free uh, syrups, you guys, I don't even use a lot of that creamer. So I really need to get that, get those creamers again. I keep saying creamers. Get those syrups again from Dollar Tree or either from Amazon. And then I just have some watermelon here. I know summer's almost over. Um, this was two dollars and seventy six cents. Just some watermelon that I need to put in the fridge. So that is that on the little grocery haul. Then I went to Home Goods and I just bought a few candles. I know um, fall will be here soon, and everybody's excited about fall. Y'all, excuse me if you hear echo. I am in my kitchen, and there is an uh, echo effect in here, so. I apologize for that. Um, I bought this candle. Y'all, I think I talked about this last year during fall because I believe I purchased this as well, but it was in the black um, glass. But I think they only had, well, I purchased only one anyways. They did have the black, but I was like, you know what? Let me just get white because I do like the wood top here. So this is the fireside. It is similar to... Um, marshmallow Fireside by Bath and Body Works. Of course, it doesn't smell completely like it, but it is a similar scent. Mm, it smells good. And it is the three wick candles, three wicks candle, and it was $14.99, $14.99. And I do like this glass. This is, y'all, I keep all my glass jars that looks really nice because you know you can put different things in there um all of destiny destiny on all of destiny that's her channel she does the same thing and um i've been doing it for a while but i stopped 
but I'm going to start back because you know sometimes it just creates more things to have for store to store away. And then this is my first time buying this particular candle here. I don't know why I just threw that down, but anyways. But I liked it because I like the way it looked, and it's the warm fireside. Purchase purchased this from Home Goods as well. I believe this was $7.99 or $6.99. $6.99. And it smells real good. It has like a like the fire is actually going. Like you're actually sitting at a fire, like the um, what you call it? Um, the fire pit. That's kind of like what it smells like. I can smell like marshmallow. And I can smell like like a burnt wood. That's how this smells. And it's very subtle. I don't like I don't like very sweet candles. Like every fall scent candle that I smell, I always smell vanilla or like you baking cookies or or cake or pies. I don't like sweet scents like that. So this is very subtle. It has a a slight sweet smell to it but it's not overwhelming and it just smells like you're sitting outside in the backyard and you have a fire going and maybe like some marshmallows or something like that guess what this smells like and i bought two of these you guys i'm not going to unwrap the other one but the other one is in here so that is that on the candles from home goods then I'm going to move on to five below just something simple I wish I can show you guys how this look on my um oh you know what I can I'll see because I got my other phone down here um I had this before I think I showed you guys this before um this was five dollars and you guys can actually see how it would look so I don't have to demonstrate it um, this is how it will look and it can uh, extend up to 15 inches and you can turn it either way. You can have it vertical or horizontal. You can also um, face it um, up. You can bend it to be kind of facing this way. Like if you're trying to do something and you want them to see on the desk, on your desk, you can actually bend it and it can, it will actually show uh, what's on your desk. So I thought this was very good for only five dollars and like I stated before I did have this before Y'all can see right here my old one <laughs> Trying to grab it. Oh shoot. Anyways, this is the base of my old one and it's supposed to have a top here But I left it in my car seat after we came back from Jacksonville on Sunday and my husband ooh, I think my husband used my car and um, it was sitting on the driver's seat and I was too tired to take it to move it and he sat on it. But you can see that it, this is how you will extend the, the, uh, the top portion of it. But the um, top portion is broken. So that's why I went and got another one. And it, it can't be fixed. I tried, it can't be fixed, but for $5, that's not bad. Um, so that is that. Now this one I never had before. This is a action camera grip for a mobile device. So this is how this one looks. I never had this before, but this can also turn into a tripod. So um, it's supposed to be a selfie stick. It rotates 270 degrees. It's lightweight and secure grip. So this is how it looks on the back. Cause I do, um, vlog and everything on my phone. I don't have a camera. I just use my Pro, uh, my 12 Pro Max. Is it called Max? Mini? Yeah. App, iPhone. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and then also from Five Below, I purchased this. Um, it's a succulent, it's a succulent fountain. And I thought this would be nice to just put in the bathroom um, just to have like a relaxation vibe. I'm not going to, I'm not going to take it out. Um, 
but this was five dollars you guys and this is how it will look it has the led lights on there and little waterfall and the succulent there on the side so just kind of nice to have like a little spa moment you know and then last but not least you guys is i purchased um a couple of things from alta i did tell you guys that i was trying to learn how to do makeup a little better and um i used to do makeup pretty good when i first was a youtuber and, and started wearing makeup but i kind of stopped um stop wearing it Ooh, something sticky but i'm not going to spend a whole lot of money on makeup when i don't know how to apply it so i stuck with what i know um this is the la girl pro concealer hd high definition concealer this is in fine and that number is gc983 that's uh the color and then this is how the front looks and that's i purchased this for my highlights and then i got this for my brow i believe uh this is the uh, color that i usually get for the top portion of my brow also um i i plan to use this along my um what y'all call this to contour contour I'm talking contour <laughs> to contour i think i think that's what you call it i don't know but i thought this would be nice to use for for that and this is in the color or in the shade dark cocoa and the number is gc988 so it looks like that and this is the front and then also i just bought some facial wash i told you guys that i want to take better care of my skin my facial skin um so i bought this i think you pronounce it serafe serafe or clarafe probably serafe foaming facial cleanser for normal to oily skin because i do have oily skin it cleanses and removes oil without disturbing the protective skin barrier so yeah that's how this look and this is a little mini um mini bottle and it was $4.99 the concealers were also $4.99 a piece yeah so yeah that is pretty much it you guys that I purchased today um now I'm just going to I told you guys what I plan on cooking so I'm going to put everything up and then I may do a little small cook with me or I may just show you guys how everything look afterwards all right, you guys, so I am getting ready to season my meat. Do you guys have a specific time, especially with, with, with school starting, have started back? Do you guys have a specific time that you have dinner ready or cooked? I remember when my kids were smaller, you guys, I don't know, it was, it was just something about, you know, already having the food cooked and ready to eat when the kids got home. I used to do that. <laughs> I used to do that, especially, um, you know, when I wasn't at work, if I was off, I, um, yeah, I, it was just something about having the food already ready. And as soon as the kids came home, they, put their book bags and everything down, wash their hands, and we ate as a family. But now, y'all, it's hard to do that. How many of you guys still do that? How many of you guys are able to do that? Um, for number one, I only have one child that are in school now, and that's my 13-year-old. Y'all, he just turned 13 on Saturday, not Saturday, on Sunday. If y'all have not seen his birthday vlog, go and check it out. It is live on my channel. We had so much fun. Um, we wanted his two cousins to come, but we didn't have enough room in the car. We only took one car. Um, so, but um, yeah, you guys, I only have one child left in school. And my oldest daughter, she's in grad school, so she's not even home. 
and my baby girl, my 18-year-old, who will be 19-year-old next month, September the 19th. She is, uh, she's working, and um, sometimes, you know, she grabs something to eat on the way home from work. And then my husband, he works late, late hours sometimes. Sometimes he's home before five. Sometimes he's home after five. Sometimes he's home, <laughs> you know, he's just home different times because he has his own business. So, you know, it's just hard to eat together. If you guys are still able to do that, that is wonderful. But yeah, we used to do that. And then it's even hard on the weekends too because, you know, when your kids are older, they have their own agenda. They have things that they um, that they want to do. And, and usually, you guys, I um, I don't always cook on the weekends. That's usually when we eat out. Um, so yeah, so I I don't cook like I used to, you guys. I used to cook all the time. I used to cook the big Sunday meals and all that. And listen, child, you trying to lose weight? You can't do all that soul food cooking like that. <laughs> my husband always said, you don't ever cook the soul food no more. My kids, mama, can you cook some mac and cheese? We haven't had macaroni and cheese in a long time. Like, look, that mac and cheese be good, but that mac and cheese is, ooh. Can you say filled with calories? Oh, my God. But, you know, from time to time, I do, um, I try to do a, a, a good a good meal here and there, but usually I try to do healthy meals when I can. Or I do like a mixture. Like I told you guys, I'm gonna fix that salad as well as some rice. So my kids, they're not big, big salad kids. I love salad. I like to eat different types of salads. So y'all, I'm just rinsing off my meat. I know some people clean their meat with vinegar. Um, I used to just run some hot water. Hot water over it several times. So now I'm just gonna clean these, I'm gonna season. And then, um, my little air fry, I'm probably going to bake them, bake and then broil. And I'm gonna put my little, I'll show you guys the seasoning that I'm gonna to use too. What are you guys cooking today? Today is Tuesday. I know a lot of people do Taco Tuesdays, but I don't have a taste for Taco Tuesday. <laughs> I don't have a taste for tacos, but sometimes we do do Taco Tuesdays as well, but don't have a taste for that right now. Okay. I just realized that I have one more thing. Ooh. Just realized that I need to put some more um suds in my container. low sodium or no salt added or what have you and normally for those um, canned goods you're going to pay a little bit more money so let me tell you how you can get the great value or any other brand that they may have that's less expensive and this right here is usually probably what 50 cents to maybe 75 cents per can 
and it is the regular you don't see any low sodium or anything like that but this is what I do I do not use the juice that that's within all the fluids that's within the can I simply pour it out I pour it out and then I take some regular water because I don't I don't cook with salt you guys um, at all now my husband on the other hand when he cooks he does like to use salt um, he tries not to use that much because you know I don't I don't like salt um, but yeah this is the way around that you guys I usually do it maybe two, two times and I just pour that water off and then I just proceed to cook like normal and I just add a little bit more fluid to it and add my seasoning and I do put a little bit of butter in my canned goods just put a little bit of water in here just enough to cover my peas and then I just season it and put some butter in it so you don't have to pay for that extra cost to get low salt or no salt you can have no salt by paying 50 cents for a can so just a little tip you guys just a little tip you guys i have started eating jasmine rice i like the way this rice cooks for number one um i know a lot of people use rice cookers and things of that nature but I still like to use the stove to cook my rice. Um, jasmine rice to me, and I just got this, this one cup, it, it cooks better than the regular rice. To me it does. Um, and, and it's one of those rices that you don't have to like uh, really keep stirring up like you do the regular rice. And that's why I like it too. Plus it, it I don't know, it just tastes lighter and I believe this is the type of rice that um, that you get like in Chinese food, Chinese dishes. I think this is the type of rice that they cook, I mean that they use. I'm only gonna do two cups because a lot of times rice gets thrown away in my house, you guys, because I cook too much. <laughs> Tell you, you guys a funny story. Every time we have dinner at my mom's house, she never cook enough rice, you guys, never. She always, we always have to end up cooking a second pot of rice while we're there, you know? It's like, mama, why you don't cook enough rice? And she always say, uh, well, we can always cook another pot. And that is true. Because you guys, when I tell you, I waste a lot of rice, I waste a whole lot of rice because number one, we all we all know that rice does swell. And um, I do like rice at times. I'm not a big rice eater anymore, especially regular rice. Now if it was, uh, I don't know, maybe seasoned rice, I may eat a lot of that at times, but I'm not a big rice eater. Either. So I'm just going to do two two cups because I'm not going to have rice tonight. I'm going to have my salad and the sweet potato with my um, baked pork chop. So that should be enough. And if not, we can always cook more, right? Instead of wasting rice. So. chops I just put it on baked and I baked each side for about mm, 15 minutes give or take so yeah this is how it's looking oh y'all can't see it 
So this is how the first batch look. And I baked each side for about maybe, give or take 15 minutes in my Ninja. I'm going to finish cooking the rest of them. They look so good, you guys. So good and juicy. And the things that's on top, those are just like the onions and the green and red peppers. All right, you guys, so this is what you get in this little packet. Mm. Of course, you get your mixed greens, baby agrilla, baby spinach, baby greens, baby lettuces, diced apples, blue cheese, crumble, candied walnuts, and a cherry balsamic vinaigrette. So here's the apples, the vinaigrette dressing in here, the crumbled cheese, and the um, walnuts, candied walnuts. So this should be good, you guys. I think I'm gonna use this dressing. It's a cherry balsamic vinaigrette. Hmm, that might taste pretty good. So, I don't know if anybody else would eat it. My husband would probably eat it. Oh, I need to rinse this. Even though it says pre-washed and ready to eat, I still like to, let me back y'all up a little bit. I still like to rinse it off a little bit and I usually do it inside the bag. Just a little bit, extra washing. Just to make sure. I know they sell um, stuff that you can wash vegetables with. I've never seen them in the store. I guess I never really looked for it either. I'm just putting this in this little aluminum um, bowl, you guys, because it does help keep it cold. And um, I'm not going to put the salad dressing on it, just in case my husband may not like this dressing. He may want ranch. He may want, I hate saying ranch, y'all. Sounds so country like ranch. <laughs> ranch <laughs> he made more ranch dressing so I'm just gonna pour the excess water off yeah I can do it without losing my greens okay I guess my hands are clean and then I'm going to put my apples and the walnuts and this and top it off with some cucumbers and tomatoes And then I'll come back and show you the, oh, before I go, before I go, you guys, let me turn you over here. I wanted to show you guys, I'm not gonna do it right now, but I wanted to show you how I do my uh, sweet potato. I don't like cooking my sweet potato in the oven. I don't know why, per se, but I just don't like cooking it in the oven. So, my friend, one of my friends, my rice. One of my friends, you guys, um, she cooked her sweet potato in the oven. I mean, not in the oven, in the microwave. And I was like, you cook your sweet potato in the microwave? She said, yeah. So um, ever since she showed me how, I've been doing it that way. I just put some water in here. I've already added some slits to my sweet potato. You can see the slits there that I added. And um, I just make sure that it's moist. The whole thing is moist in the water. And then I put it in the microwave for about, mm, maybe about 10 minutes. And that's it. And then I'll put my butter and my cinnamon on there. And yeah, it's delicious, you guys. So just to share that tip, I will come back and show you guys exactly how my dinner looks once it's plated. So here is the salad, you guys. It looks so pretty. 
and delicious. And I think for the rest of my cucumbers over here, I'm gonna make me some lemon and cucumber water. I wish I had some mint, but I don't, so yeah. And then the tomatoes I'm just gonna put in the Ziploc bag. But doesn't that salad look good, y'all? So yummy. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna make me some um, infused water, if you will. This is filter water. Put my cucumbers in there. I'm trying to think of a word, but I can't think of it. Yes, yeah, almost done. Um, what you call this water? Oh Lord, I can't thank you guys. Um, I can't think of it. If I do, I'll put it across the screen, you guys. I, I'm tired. I can't remember what you call this type of water. Um, anyways, I'm going to infuse it with some cucumbers and um, some lemon. I call it infused water, but there's another name, but I can't think of the name right now. So, forgive me. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Just can't think of the name right now. I got this thing here. I wanted the one that has the two when you you just press it compress it like that but i'm going to try to use this one i don't know what happened to it if i ever had the right kind i probably did it this in the refrigerator it looks good doesn't it y'all looks good all right you guys you know how I do you know I clean as I go um but I wanted to just talk to you guys let me put my earpiece in so y'all can hear me because I know my uh ninja is very loud all right so y'all know I like to clean as I go because I cannot stand still having to clean up after you're, you finish eating the pool. I do not like that. I already put my seasonings up. Only thing I have out is my cinnamon for my sweet potato, which I just put in the microwave for 10 minutes. And I have my butter and so let me see to clean this up. This is for the salad. Wash my scissors. And um, yeah. Everything that I use is up. That's this meal that I have on the table, which that you guys can't see. But yeah, I can't stand to have a dishes and stuff in the sink before I eat. Every now and then, I may leave them in the sink to afterwards. But I either um, to put them in the dishwasher or I'll wash them. I need to empty the dishwasher actually because it's, those are clean dishes. Do y'all do that? Do y'all wash the dishes, low dishes in the dishwasher to be washed and they take forever to unload the dishwasher and then you wash the rest of the dishes by hand? <laughs> we do that here. But I wanted to ask you guys, have you been watching All American on Netflix? 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 Netflix. <laughs> um, I remember watching it and it took forever to bring out um, another season, but I saw last night 
that they at Quick House season three is now playing. And evidently, I, I don't recall finishing up season two. So I had to go back and watch a couple of episodes that I did not see on season two. And now I'm on season three. Are you guys watching that? How, if, if so, how are you enjoying it? Do you like it? The thing with me, you guys, when I start watching um, series, if it starts being a little repetitious to me, I begin to lose interest in it. I do like All American, don't get me wrong, especially um, a lot of the cast are um, African American as well as, um, you know, it, it's based on a, well, it's inspired, I should say. It's inspired, I'm gonna keep this out because I'm gonna need it for my sweet potato. It's um, inspired by a true event. And I do, I like a lot of TV shows and movies that are inspired or based on a true story. So if you guys have not been watching that, check it out. It's, it's pretty good. Make sure if you never watched it before, you're going to have to go all the way back to the beginning to season one. Um, obviously. <laughs> to know what's going on. But I know me. I'll try to skip some episodes, honey. But um, this one I did, I'm, I'm enjoying. Alright, so that is the second batch of pork chops. Got one more batch to go. My sweet potato is in the oven. No, I keep saying oven. It's in the microwave. And yeah, only people are here, y'all, is my son and I, my daughter. My daughter should have been home by now. Maybe she's kind of trying to she gets off at six. So she may be here in time to eat with us. A lot of times she'd like to take a shower first, which I'm surprised my son didn't take his shower first. He's been doing that as soon as he come home from school lately. He's been taking the shower, but. All right, guys, so I am going to finish up and I'll show you, um, I'll show you the plate. Once the food is plated, I'll, I'll give you a view. You see, I put my candle over there, you guys. I need to take that tag off, but I got it facing the back. That's my candle that I just showed you guys in the hall on this video. But I don't know. Y'all excited about fall? I know a lot of people have already started. Um, ooh, ooh, sorry, I kicked y'all. I know a lot of people have already started shopping for fall. I don't know about decorating. I don't know now, some people may have, especially, you know, those who have their home decor channels, they may go ahead and, um, and record, decorate for have, have their videos up. But I'm just gonna use what I had last year, you guys. I'm not, I'm not buying anything new first so I want to go and find this thing is really really tender I want to go and find the floors first and then once I find the floors we are going to start purchasing them did I put the button out? oh man I did oh no I didn't um, yeah, we're going to start buying, buying like a few boxes at a time or what have you. Um, and then once we get all of them, that's where we will start. So I'm hoping you guys that before Christmas, the, at least the floors will be done and as well as the painting. And then, um, trying to make sure you guys can see me while I'm talking. And then after, after we do the flooring, 
in the painting, I want to do my accent wall, the bookshelf, and then the, um, the, the coffin, the, the coffin ceiling in the dining room, slash home, living room, whatever. I still haven't decided what I'm going to actually make that place be. Probably going to be the formal, formal living room, actually, you guys, because I don't really feel like I need another table. I know when family comes, you can easily, I can easily get some more tables or whatever and put down because I just believe in using every portion of your house. Um, Y'all know back in the day when our parents, <laughs> some of us parents had like a museum living room or, you know, with the plastic and stuff all over the furniture, you couldn't sit down on the furniture, you couldn't touch anything. It's like, it was just a, for a museum, just to just to look, just to view, you know? And I don't want my house to be that way. I want my house to be enjoyable. So I'm thinking about leaving that as like a formal, formal living room, almost sort of like a studio, you guys. Like if I do trial calls or something like that, I don't know. But that's, that's along the lines that I'm thinking. I, I was going to do an office dining room, but I don't really do a whole lot to have an office. I mean, yeah, I do study, but I have a desk in my room, not a desk, but a table in my room that I used to do my work on and everything. So I don't know, but that's kind of like where I'm leaning towards for that. For my formal living room, not formal, I'm sorry, for my family room, which is right across from my kitchen. This is mostly where we watch TV. Um, we watch movies at right now. I do have a big loft upstairs. I told you guys last vlog that it's about the size of my family room, a bit smaller, not including the hallway, the long hallway that I have. Uh, yeah. So, um, I'm, I don't know. But anyways, let me get my thoughts together. <laughs> okay. So in my family room that's right across from the kitchen, I was thinking about that being my formal, but it's kind of hard for that area to be your formal living room because it's directly across from the kitchen and you're constantly walking, you know, so I have we have to walk in there in order to get to the other port, parts of the house or what have you. So my deal my ideal is to get a um what you call it um to get a sectional but i don't want it to be like a i don't want it to be like a sectional where you can lay on it if that makes sense i still want it to look formal but to be comfortable enough where where it's okay to sit down and watch tv you know what i'm saying that's kind of like what i'm thinking about and then you know the bookshelves um of course have a table um in the middle what have you curtains and stuff like that so you know I, I'm, I am really really happy that i have not furnished my home yet because when i tell you guys that <laughs> my style has changed so many times oh my gosh Y'all, I have changed my mind so many times saying, oh, I know exactly what I want. I want this, I want that. And then I'm like, mm, no, I don't think I want that again. You guys, if you have purchased a home or even if you live in an apartment, you guys, take your time. Take your time and, and get the furniture and things that you want. Don't be in a rush because then you waste money, especially if your style and everything changes. So that's kind of like what I'm thinking about now. Um, but first, y'all, we got to get the floors done. We got to finish painting. That has to be first. So hopefully this weekend, I am off this weekend. I think I have a five-day weekend. Well, not five-day weekend, but five, five nights off starting Friday, I believe I do. It's either five or four. Um, I am going to go to floor decor 
and uh, see what they have again. Y'all, I'm just talking because I'm waiting on the food, but yeah. Take your time, honey. Take your time because you don't want to spend unnecessary money and then ended up having to sell it on Facebook Marketplace or let go or whatever, you know, and chances are you may not get the money that you actually paid for it. So yeah, I'm just trying to take my time. And um, yeah, so if I decorate y'all, I'll go decorate just like I did last fall with the furniture that I have in my house. I might just do my former living room since that, that particular area looks like it's actually put together completely. And um, I told my kids and my husband I wasn't decorated for Christmas. My husband told me, yeah, right. <laughs> you always say that and then you end up decorating. Y'all, I'm just, I don't want to spend any more money. And it's hard for me because once I decorate something, it's like I have to go full, full blast. It, it has to look, it has to look how I want it to look, you know? So, but yeah, I did say I wasn't going to decorate for Christmas, but my husband said, yeah, right. I will be decorating for Christmas, but I'm gonna try not to, because I don't feel like it, number one. All right, y'all, like I said, I was just talking, wasting time, waiting on the food to finish. I'm gonna eat, and now I'm going to relax. Oh. So, I'll show you guys the food, and after that, I'm probably gonna go, because I don't have anything else to talk about or plan. Yeah.